Okay, so today you're going to diagram your mask. Make sure you put your name, your hour, and then title your mask. Now, if you've got a picture of what you want, that'll really help me a lot more. So here are some examples. This is Isaiah Creech's gas mask. And this line right here shows you where the original mask is. And that's what this is going to be. So when you extend out beyond that, you're going to draw out. Now, if you really wanted to make it really big, then I want you to take a few extra pieces of paper and tape it on there, or tape this onto a bigger piece of paper. So you need to diagram all your building materials. So on the board, I have your building materials listed, and we can add to that list. The major components of your building material are going to be cardboard, newspaper. You can use wire screen to cover up the eyes. Plaster gauze where you need strength. Paper mache, we're going to cover everything with paper mache to smooth it out. Tape, use plenty of tape. Use all the tape you want. Um, cardboard tubes, wire, those are, tech, those are building materials. So he has on here, he's going to use cardboard rings here. And then he covered this with plastic. He had a, uh, the kind of film that you put on the car windows. So you couldn't see his eyes, but he could see through. This is plaster or paper rolls, so that's like uh, toilet paper rolls, tuna can, and then this tube. He found a tube in the trash. You could make that out of like that. The perfect thing for that would be like a vacuum sweeper hose. These were cardboard. Um, he doesn't have that diagram, so I'm assuming that's paint. Okay, this one is the Cookie Monster, and this one because it protrudes out. They needed to do a side view of this, and so this is the side view, and they filled this all in. So they bunched up a bunch of newspaper, and they filled it in with newspaper. That's how they built it up. You could have done that with a piece of cardboard and cut it out like I showed you in the Kinney mask. You could have cut it like that and made it rounded. Now the challenge with when you build it out from that mask of the front is you got to be able to see through there. So what this is missing is they had cardboard tubes that they put right here so that they could see through it. I would really avoid making it come way far up. It's, it's really pretty difficult to do. Um, they bought styrofoam balls for this. That could have also been done with newspaper and then covered with paper mache. Um, this is, I think they diagrammed here a lot of paint. And then they also bought fur for this. They bought, like, I guess blue fur. Cookie Monster's blue, right? Yeah, blue fur. All right, this is Evil Bunny. And this right here is the original mask. So this was a really, really big mask. So this was cardboard, a big piece of cardboard made the same way that the kitty mask was made by making a big circle, cutting in pleats, folding those pleats over and making a dome shape. And then this is cardboard. And he also put wire in this cardboard so that they would bend. So he took two pieces of cardboard, cut the same shape, hot glued a piece of wire in between it, and then he could bend them any direction he wanted to. Um, he built up the little mouth and the nose with wadded up cardboard, and then he put stitches on it with the um, plaster gauze. He got it wet. He put Elmer's glue because this was already paper mache and plaster gauze. You got to put some Elmer's glue on there for the plaster gauze to, to actually adhere and then he made the stitches with the plaster gauze. All right, this is actually a mask over a mask. So this is the original mask here. This was cardboard and then covered with paper mache and plaster gauze. This was flesh colored and then this was, you know, the, the colorful part there. Um, jewels, if you want some texture on there, jewels is another thing we could add to our list up there. And then to put the feathers going up here, they put a piece of cardboard on, covered that all up, and then painted it orange, and then glued the feathers on there. Okay, this is like a, a doctor's mask for like the plague. They used to have these really bizarre masks. And it, they built it up, and they put tubes in here, cardboard tubes, so they could see out. They made this out of wire and cardboard. And they built this out of cardboard. So it was like a, a piece of cardboard that was cut in that shape, two of them, and then a third piece that uh, closed up the bottom of it. 
Okay, this is just a weird, bizarre mask. So the, the mouth actually came way down here. So they built that all up with cardboard. And then this was pieces of wire coming off of it. And they covered those with some tissue paper so they were colorful. Meow. Kitty cat. Okay, here's the original mask. You want to make sure you show where the original mask is. This was cardboard. They used uh, cardboard for the ears and pipe cleaners for the whiskers and then um, wire mesh over the eyes. Cupcake. I think actually it turned out that the original mask was right here. The original mask was more in here. And then this was just a big piece of cardboard that they curved around and then they had to put another piece of cardboard attaching on the back and I'll give you another demonstration on how to do that. When you put a big piece over the front, you've got to put tabs on the back. And this was all newspaper built up with paper mache over the top of it. This was a really cool mask. Lots of really pretty glitter on this one. Big, huge piece of cardboard. Um, then they rounded that out. This was cardboard cones covered with paper mache. And those are cones there too. And then all of these designs, they painted on and then they glittered on. And then the eyes are covered with wire mesh. Okay, if you want to do a horse or something massive like that, you really have to do your own research. You really have to come in with a clear plan because this thing, this is a side view of it. And the side view, this is where the mask was and the side view right through here. So they had to build this piece up. This was four separate pieces. Then a big round piece that they took, again, that dome shape that we made. They made two of those and attached them there. And then in the front, there was two more dome shapes for the nostrils. And then the whole thing was smoothed over with tape and paper mache. If you want to make something like this, you, ha you have to plan on doing this, a lot of this at home. So this is the side view of that. Oh, yeah, there's another dome shape down here. Um, I think this was actually dome shape. This was this green was cardboard, and then I think that she built this part up with newspaper. So she had to figure out where she was going to see. On this one, she saw straight out this way, which was pretty tricky to do. Okay, it was a wolf. This one was built up, this part here was built up with cardboard and then rounded out. So you can build the mass of it, the bulk of it, with cardboard, but then you need to add on some more organic cardboard on there to make it more rounded. Um, ears are cardboard. All these details through here, these were separate pieces of cardboard so it raise up and then mesh over the eyes. You don't have to cover your eyes, but you can if you want. Minnie Mouse, massive round piece of cardboard. Um, the bow was made out of a piece of cardboard with, filled in with fluffed up with newspaper. And I think most of this was cardboard wire mesh over the eyes here. Newspaper wadded up for the nose. Mike, um, a big disc, a really big disc. And then they cut out for the face. The eyes were covered with mesh and then painted over, and this was cardboard here. Dobby. Dobby was the original mask. Do we have a side view of Dobby? I don't think so. All right, the original mask, they moved the eyes up, covered up where their actual eyes would be, built this up with cardboard and newspaper, and then the lips were cardboard and the ears were cardboard. But it wasn't any bigger. This the green line is where the original mask is. Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck was actually a little bit tricky because they had to build this part. Oh, I should have a side view for that. They had to build this part out. And I would require, I'm not sure where the side view is of this one, but if you do something that has protrudes out forward like this, you have to do a side view. They moved the eyes down, covered the actual eyes with screen, and then this was, I think, pipe cleaners. This is an extra piece of cardboard here that they paper mache and then glued on. Um, Yoda. So Yoda, this the green is the original mask, and then this is all built out 
with newspaper, eyes removed down, and then texture added on with newspaper and tape, cardboard for the ears. Butterfly. Butterfly is actually kind of a weird one to do because this doesn't really fit, the oval doesn't really fit in the stamen. Um, wait, stamen? Is that the body? Thorax. The thorax is the body. Am I right? I don't know. All right, let's call it the thorax. The wings are cardboard, and when you add pieces of cardboard on, remember, you have to have those little tabs to attach on. Don't try to attach something like this. It needs to have surface area to attach it onto. All right, so you are going to take your mask, this form here, and sketch out what you want to do and diagram all the materials that you need to create that mask. That's it.